All right, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Fuse, and bro, we're in the middle of a nor'easter right now. It's March 15, 2023, and we had literally a foot of snow in upstate, and the winds here, bro, in the city, dead ass, it's like 40 miles an hour. Bro, people were literally moving yesterday because of the wind. The wind was literally transporting people, like, block to block. Like, that's how serious it was, but... Yo, man, we just can't wait till April. We need the weather to get warm, man. Like, tired of shit. But anyways, guys, so as you guys can see on screen here, it's 2023 and a lot of things are changing in the subway. And uh, I figured, you know, this would be a pretty good time for me to update the rankings based on my personal opinion, my experience. And yes, guys, once again, this is Fuse Guy's opinion and Fuse Guy's rankings on the A and B division lines of the subway. Now, of course, we've seen new cars enter service, specifically only the 211. And uh, right now, of course, they're still doing their 30-day testing, which is, you know, hopefully all checkbox is clear, bro, because we need them shits entering on the A and the C. Like, that's, you know, it's a, it's a given. But... I guess without further ado, man, let's get started. And we have a lot of lines to cover, and we're going to kick things off, obviously, with starting with the IRT, with one of my favorite lines, and on the 7. Now, when people think of the 7, guys, it's like, listen, in my opinion, the 7 is the best IRT. Now, look, you have ATO, CBTC, for those of you that don't know what those are, ATO means automatic train operation, and CBTC means communications-based train control. Now, ATO basically literally means that you can just program the computer and the train operates itself. It knows curves, it knows timers. Uh, CBTC is basically communication with equipment, with ra you know radios, wayside equipment, all that type of shit. And trains can run closer together. That's literally why the 7 is the best train in IRT. Now, you have 188s, you have great headways, you have... PM rush, I mean, you can get a train literally every minute at Queensboro. The only thing that lacks about the 7 is is kind of just the PM pre-rush, like between 2.30 and 3 or 2.30 and like 4, when service to Flushing is like every 8 or 9 minutes. But listen, when you've got a goaded skyline, you've got good sunset views, it's the place to be during the summertime. Both the 7 Local and the 7 Express get cream of the crop. I mean, you really can't get better than that, right? I mean, that's that's literally what it is. <laughs> so we're going to move things on now, guys, to the 6. And you guys know how I already feel about the 6. I mean, the 6 is... Ugh. Listen, Westchester needs his 142 A's back. I mean, the 6 is not the same. I know, I know the riders in the Bronx definitely feel it. And the 6 kind of gets sparred, man. I mean, the 6 gets sparred during... Uh, weekdays, especially between 3rd Ave and, and Parkchester, bro. I mean, the headways during the week are not that bad going to Brooklyn Bridge, but, you know, when you need service to the Bronx, the 6 doesn't really deliver that much. I mean, Westchester also does not take care of the 62 ways. I mean, the suspensions, the braking, the wheel slip, no, that's not that's not working. I mean, yeah, you got 62 ways, but I mean, listen, for a SME, they could do better. Headways are also not the greatest either. So the 6 local is going to get a B rating. And the same thing for the 6 Express. I mean, it's literally nothing different. All it is is just 3rd Ave to Parkchester Express and vice versa. So it really doesn't shine in any way there. All right, so we're going to move things on, guys, to the uh, Express portion now of Lexington. And uh, the 5 train guys, I have mixed feelings over. But I still one of my favorites. And I'm going to tell you why. The five train guys has an infinite amount of terminals. Let, let's count these together, right? You have Bowling Green, you have Utica, you have New Lots, you have Flatbush, you have East 180th, you have Dyer, you have Nereid. You can technically say Wakefield, and if they really, really wanted to, 149 Grand Concourse, Burnside. How many? That's like 10 terminals, bro. And, and if you really, really wanted to make the case, like a, a strong, strong case, they could kind of turn five trains at Grand Central, you know, when they do those GOs sometimes. So, speaking of Grand Central, that's where the five train needs to run during late nights. Because late night headways on the five is a bitch. I mean, you got to go to East 180th, get on the two, and go to Grand Concourse for the four if you want Lexington. That's why five trains suck only on late nights. But, 
142 is an East 180th. They're pretty good, man. They main, they're maintained well. You know, they're clean. Five train headways. They could be improved. But listen, most of the time, control sends a four. So they pretty much picks up the slack. And the five train really doesn't have anything else to worry about. So listen, weekend service, they should run past Bowling Green. But still, five train is going to get an A rating because I love the five. Now, the same thing goes with the four. Now, the four train, guys, is literally the subsector of the five. The only, like, trunk part of the four is really Jerome. Because 161 up to Woodlawn, you don't have anything else. And the headways on Jerome are pretty good. I mean, you got, what, six, seven minutes for a train? Sometimes, you know, when they bring out trains during the PM rush, it's like, what, every two minutes? And even during the day, you don't really wait that long for a four train. So honestly, guys, to me, in my opinion, the four train is really good. 142 ways. It starts out of Utica. Those trains are in and out, bro. I mean, weekends, uh, it's what, every eight minutes, late nights, it helps the six on Lexington. Uh, I mean, what else can you not like? I mean, you have new techs all day. The only problem is Jerome does not take care of those 142 ways. And yeah, Westchester is kicking their fucking balls, bro, because... Listen, man, 142 A's, you got to treat them better, man. They're good cars. They're made by Kawasaki. They need they need, they need, need love. Let's put it that way. But still, the Ford train still gets an A rating because it's, it's definitely one of the greatest. All right, so moving things on to the west side of Manhattan now. Now, the west side of Manhattan, guys, look, the three guys, I, you know, the three never amazes me for some reason. I just don't know why. Like, 96 to Chambers, yeah, you could just take the two. I mean, you'll still be the same speed. I mean, 62 is out of Livonia. There's nothing special about that. The three has been using the same equipment for years now. For what, 15, 20 years? I mean, there's nothing special about the three. I mean, for some reason, I just don't know why people like the three so much. If you live along New Lots, you know that the three is a pain in the ass. I mean, weekends, it's like threes you know, they don't, they don't shine. There's nothing good. There's no reroutes. There's nothing ever special about it. And for that reason, the three gets a B rating. I mean, simple as that. There's, there's nothing really special about that. Now, same thing goes for the two guys. Now the two, I must say the two has very bad headways. Okay. I mean, the two is based on a two, 239 yard. 142 is a pretty well maintained. I never had a problem with announcements or braking or acceleration or any shit like that. Yes, you will have a lot of crackheads on the two, but the two moves, man, between Barclays and like maybe 96, the two is pretty damn good. Where the two suffers is 149 to Wakefield. Like that shit's a pain in the ass. Headways are very bad up there. And yeah, we're, we're just not doing that. Week, uh, you know, weekends, the two is a pain. Late nights, the two helps out the one on 7th Avenue. So, I mean, hey, it kind of gets a pass there. But, you know, the two train, I, I would give it a C, but listen, 96 to, to Barclays, the two moves pretty good. So I'm going to give it a B rating. All right, so we're going to finish things up with the IRTs now, guys, and move things to the one. And the first thing I think about the one is no express. Like the crews on the one, man, you got to give them credit. I mean, there's not like the six express where at least between Parkchester and, and Third Ave, you get an express, but... The one train, guys, is absolutely no express. Them shits can... Oh, my Lord. I, I can't even believe doing, like, Times Square to South Ferry. Like, you know how many stops that is? And, and Yellow and Times Square to, to, to Van Cortland. I mean, ugh, I don't know, man. But speaking of Times Square, they should run the three to Penn Station. I mean, literally, they should. So no relay. It's, it's basic common sense. But anyway, so... The one train, guys, uh, 240th does not take care of their, their 62 ways. I mean, the headways on the one, I must say, though, are pretty good. And the cars are on the outsides, they're dirty, but on the insides, not so much. And listen, the one is the real mover of 7th Avenue. You got Columbus Circle, you got 50th, you got Penn Station. I mean, you got 23rd, Houston, you know, Lincoln Center, all that shit, bro. I'm telling you, the one is the real king of 7th Avenue. And for that, you get an A rating. Simple. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to kick things off. Well, the IRT A division's done. Uh, let's see how the board looks. It's looking pretty good. I mean, we got the cream of the crop. I mean, raining over everyone else. 541, 632. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. So we're going to kick things off now, guys, with the B division and start off with the A. And yes, we know the 211s just entered service, you know. Can you guys actually just think about this real quick? The A is the only train in the system to have run like seven fleets. Let's name them. 
32s, 42s, 46s. You have to argue the fact that the 68, they were on the A train out of Dykeman during the PM put-in. It that, could, that has to count. I mean, it has to. 160s, 179, and now 211. I mean, that's seven fleets, bro. I mean, now if they only ran a 143 A train, that would be nice. But they can't have eight cars on the A line. So that can't work. But hey, listen, seven fleets is badass enough, but... The A just doesn't perform, guys. I mean, you have bad headways at Rockaway Boulevard, you know, Euclid. It's just too much shit going on. The A always has crackheads, services sparred, weekends, weeknights. It's just too long. I mean, you had the issue with the 179s. I mean, the only good part about the A is between Euclid and J Street and between 59th and 125th or 145th, depending on how you look at it. So, listen, I would give the A a C, but no. The A has some pretty good parts to it, so it's going to get a B rating. All right, so moving things on to the Bravo. Now, guys, the Bravo is one of my favorite trains. Brighton is an extremely, extremely fantastic line when it comes to videotaping, you know, recording, uh, photography, any type of shit. You know, the only issue that I have with the Bravo guys is that it doesn't run on weekends. And believe me, 6th Avenue needs a second service. And so does Brighton, because we all know the Q train with its shitty 46s cannot handle Brighton. Now, the only thing is with the B guys, people are saying that the B should go to uh, Bedford Park. I don't think so, because if the B went to Bedford Park, think about it. The Bravo would be fucked, just like the Delta. We don't want the B train having bad headways with the Delta. So the 68s and 68 A's are perfect on the Bravo. The HVACs are perfect. You know, the only thing is sometimes that the headways might be a little bitchy. I mean, you might get a B train on, what, 16, 18 minutes. But that's just because the B is not a priority line in the control tower's head. So, I mean, you got to understand that, too. But listen, when you've got a good train on 6th Avenue, you got perfect equipment, Coney Island Yard. I mean, they do favor the 68s. And you got a pretty damn good train on Brighton. Listen, there's only one choice, but to give you an A rating. Simple. Even though it doesn't run on weekends, I mean, hey, it's still a, a god train during the week. And now we move things on, oh lord, to the Charlie, bro. The C train is ass. It's one word. It's ass. They got crackheads, homeless people. The headways are atrocious. I've never seen two C trains back to back in my entire rail fanning, you know, tenure ever. I mean, this one, bro, we're going to cut things short. And there's a sale at Home Depot on trash bags. The C goes right there. <laughs> All right, we're going to move things now to the Delta, bro. The Delta, oh, God. The Delta, man, I, I don't know, bro. The I've seen Delta trains, you know, with 18, 20 minute, 22 minutes headways, bro. That that just can't happen during rush hour. I mean, how do you let the N train take priority at 36 all the time? The A train control gives that Columbus Circle all the time. 68s, I mean, it's the same old shits from Concourse, bro. Put a 160 on there. Just run it. it it's not going to hurt. Run an R160D. We all want a new tech on the D. Or the Delta. No homo. But, <laughs> you know, guys, I mean, the Delta is a trash line. You know, headways on Concourse are atrocious. Yet alone, Concourse, ugh, oh my god. West End, I, I could probably do 10 F trains on Culver, and you'll only get two trains on West End. Like, ugh. The sale on trash bag is high, because the Delta's up there. It's trash. <laughs> All right, kicking things off now with Queens Boulevard, bro. Now, listen, you guys know I live along Queens Boulevard, or QBL, as we call it. And you got 160s, you got CBTC. The only problem is with CBTC, guys, is when there's a fuck up in the tower, you know, the whole network goes down. And that's the only problem. But listen, the E has a another problem, which makes it a little bit subpar, and it has a homeless problem and it has crackheads problem like to the max because we know them niggas at you know parsons archer they just pile in there and yeah they ain't coming out so the e-train has that problem but e-train always gets priority bro it, it has 160s it moves it's a fantastic line in queens in manhattan it's beyond beyond substantial i mean like it, it, it's just great there's nothing else to, to say about it 
And I would be dumb enough if I don't give the E-Train an A rating. But because of that homeless problem and that crackhead problem, the E-Train, unfortunately, is going to have to get that B rating. I may put it up to A, but I can't do that, guys. I can't do that when the train itself is affected by homeless people and crackheads. And a, a good train is being turned into a B rating just because of, of crackheads. But... If you guys know, we're moving on now to F stands for Fuse Guy, right? It, it's got to get a cream of the crop, but no, I can't give it a cream of the crop because the G train fucks the F every day. I don't understand. They need to reactivate Bergen lower level. How many times do I need to say this shit, bro? Like, dead ass. They need to reactivate Bergen lower level. Run the F trains express, send the G trains local. That way, you, you resolve any bullshit between Church and J Street. I mean, why do you think the F train's always fucked every day? Yeah, okay, some crews may be slower than others, but still, you need to reactivate Bergen lower level. You have 160s, you have good equipment, you have good maintenance in Jamaica Yard, you have CBTC. Don't fuck over a good line because of bullshit. The F still gets an A rating. I mean, simple. It's not that, you know, there. there's no question about it i mean there's not that many homeless people or crackheads i ever see on the f anyways and it goes through some pretty good neighborhoods i mean culver culver is fucking fantastic bro when it comes to photography all right no the g if any of you guys know i hate the g the g does not deserve 160s 160s need to go back to coney allen for the nq and w which we'll get to later the g literally has 160s because of three stops on culver I mean, really? They did a whole fucking fleet change just for so the G could get 160s because of Culver. Come on. Especially with five cars, you, you fuck over my F train, you really can't expect to get a good rating. You get a C. The J. Oh, boy. The J is... is The J is a mixed bag, bro. You always got people fighting. You got some shit happening on the J. I'm sorry. You surfing, which is very... We're not even talking about how dangerous it is. It's life-taking, bro. You shouldn't be doing that shit. I mean, the J is, is, is just not the line that screams excitement, bro. The J is a subpar line. You know, it has run a good amount of fleets, but there's nothing exciting about it, man. I mean, the headways are very atrocious. The Myrtle Broadway, yeah, I just don't, I don't deal with the J. And the J is going to get a C rating, simple as that. All right, now we're moving things up to a classy B division train, and that's the L, bro. And listen, the L is not an L. We're going to put that right now. <laughs> the L's got 143, CBTC, ATO. You know, the only problem I have with the L, guys, is that it doesn't have three tracks. So it's like, you know, let's say 137 middle on the one. You can't run something express if there's a problem. And I've been telling this people for years, if the, something happens in Manhattan, they turn trains at Bedford. So, what happens to you? You're fucked. But, I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. The service is pretty good. You know, the 143s are getting a little old. But, hey, the 160s are moving just pretty damn good. And if you have a good train, CBTC, ATO, get an A rating. Simple. All right, now the M. Oh, my Lord. QBL, 15, 18-minute headways. It fails in Manhattan. It fails in Brooklyn. Why is it even a train? I don't know. Yeah, it's okay. It's got 160s on weekends. It doesn't even fucking run to Forest Hills when it's needed. And it's a pain. It's, it's a waste of time. I mean, it's getting a C rating. Simple as that. I would give it garbage, but listen, the M train has 160s. It's my favorite car. It goes on 6th Avenue, one of my favorite avenues. Yeah, simple. <laughs> All right, the N. Oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. Listen, we all want 160s back in Coney Island Yard. Everyone liked the 160 N, Q, and the W back in the day. Today, 46 Ns are disgusting. Okay, who likes that shit on the fucking end? Astoria, Coney Island, 96, Whitehall. Come on, that's... Ugh. I mean, the N, is a high, the N is a high ridership line when you think about it. Not as much as the E or the F, but I mean, you got people in Sea Beach, Astoria, Manhattan, all that shit. You know, we need 160s, man. I mean, and don't tell me, oh, it doesn't matter what train shows up. It does matter because if you're on a line like, let's say, the A train and you want an R179 every day and a 46 shows up, you're like, ugh. But 
the headways on the end, bro. I've seen end train headways like 17 minutes, and I'm not waiting 17 minutes for a fucking pathetic R46. So you know what? Because of that R46 shit, the end train, uh, I don't know, man. Mm, I can't really do the end dirty because it did have R160s, so it gets a C rating. Simple as that. <laughs> All right, so moving things on to the queue. The same rule applies for the queue, guys. Brighton looks horrible with 46s, man. Come on, we need our R160s back. And don't be that one person, oh, well, fuse every morning and our train runs up to 96 and you can get that down as a queue. Yeah, no shit. But it's not a everyday train operation, bro. Q trains, ugh, you can't have 46. And the Q train is not that good either. I mean, 12 minutes, 14 minutes for a Q train, and it's a pathetic R46? Hell no. Because it did run 160s, and it had the 2nd Avenue subway wrap, and it used to go to Dittmars, it gets a, it gets a C rating. Simple as that. All right. So the R train, ugh, man. We're, we're just going to keep the garbage train rolling, right? But no, I am not going to give it garbage, surprisingly. The R train is useful only on, in Manhattan. And even during Manhattan, there's times where the R train fails to show up and the W comes out of Whitehall and just trumps the whole fucking thing. The W train, you know, I can say save the R, but QBL, man. I mean, come on. 14 minutes along with the M's 15. That is beyond ridiculous. You cannot have the r train 15 minutes i mean okay i can understand control doesn't care about the r as much as the e or the f or the n and the q but still man we need lo better local service in brooklyn it's an absolute disaster weekends the pfft, please relying on that shit on the weekends 71st roosevelt barclays queens plaza what about broadway oh you have the n but the n fails itself too so for that I'm going to put the, you know, I want to put this down here, but it did have 46s and it was good with 46s. So yeah, it gets a C rating. All right. So the 42nd street shuttle, you know, I'm going to say that the 42nd street shuttle guys is the cream of the crop because listen, you have a one-stop train getting you to and from the Long Island railroad now, which is in Metro North at Grand Central. I mean, you got 4, 5, 6, 7, B, D, F, M, A, C, E, 1, 2, 3, 7, N, Q, R, W, and the shuttle. And that links you to both of them without having to take the 7 drain. So, listen, it's the cream of the crop. Rockaway Park shuttle, there is no bullet, but it's a C because, yeah, it's nothing special about that. Same thing with the Franklin Avenue shuttle, nothing special about it either. And now the W, guys. The W... Listen, I and R160s on the NQ and W were like my childhood. I loved them. After 2020, they fucked us all really bad. The W sucks now, man. 46 is the first thing they do. Oh, they could there could be a problem on Fourth Avenue. W trains are suspended. Like the W, they don't they do not care about the W train like at all. The towers, you know, rail control, they don't care about the W at all. And they need just one 160, and I guarantee you, everybody's foaming it. I mean. At least it turns out Whitehall, but I mean, the headways aren't that great either. So listen, the W is going to get a C rating. And listen, but there's no explanation for this. Z. Garbage. But so anyways, guys, there you go. There is my official tier list rating. Uh, these are the outcomes i want you guys to let me know if i could change anything and uh well i'm not going to change anything but offer your suggestions on which uh lines you think deserve to be where and which lines don't deserve to be where they are so without further ado guys well and now without further ado this is fuse signing off and uh, have a great rest of your march and i'll catch you guys soon